Hi guys, welcome to a lovely walk around video tour of our newest listing here in Arbalaeus. Very, very sought after location. There's only 22 villas in this little hamlet and it's the closest you can actually be to Arbalaeus town. You've got a nice concrete driveway leading here and you can see it runs down to a covered carport in front of me. Beautiful hill backdrop there. And I think one of the first things that strikes me when I come in here is this wonderful glazed conservatory. 22 meters of space there. You've got aspect windows, which are positioned deliberately. I'll just wander down here. You've got no neighbor immediately to the right. Just a wonderful lemon grove, and you can see the fantastic views that are enjoyed by the conservatory there. Covered carport right in front of me. You've actually got a very nice sized front garden area. The plots up above the, I think it's 864 or just under 900 meters. So again, very unusual for something in Arbalaeus because they're normally on the 600 meter plots, gardens. So the driveway rolls on down and then you've got a fantastic almost wrap round sun terrace patio that runs along the entire back of the villa providing ample, like a, I suppose a fantastic entertainment deck. You could build a wonderful barbecue area here and stuff like that. And then what I really like is the way the garden's been sectioned. It's just not perfectly flat and boring. It's kind of all been put into lovely sections. You've got this very beautiful stairway only five steps there, leading down to a moulded concrete terrace. See this fantastic shaded kind of pergola poolside house, I suppose. Before I look at the pool quickly, hedged off from the big pool terrace here, you've got a fantastic little orchard. You've got fig trees and olive, a nice lemon in there. Pool was literally refurbished, finished off at the start of this year. So newly refurbished, absolutely pristine swimming pool. Nice corner steps coming in there. Another little planted area at this end. And let's just have a little, when we get down there, we'll pan around the house frontage for you, the back of the house. Sorry. Some nice palm jackers and bougainvillea and you can see the second set of steps if you like coming down from the wrap round terrace ample room again for deck chairs and stuff poolside as well if you want them beautifully presented property i have to say so you've got the conservatory to my left there with double doors out to the garden then the middle set of double doors which leads straight into the lounge dining area and then the third set of double doors, the ones to the right, are into the master bedroom. And then you've actually got the front door, so there's kind of four easy access points around the house, out into the garden area. Very, very quiet, very peaceful. And again, if you look over this way, no neighbours on this side either, so it's literally only in front of you that you've got, got neighbours, and this one sits atop those and looks out over. little side pathway these are all non-slip tiles here you can see we've got a UK satellite dish there the second one of the casitas or storage houses that one houses the central heating tank and the, and the boiler and there's another one down by the pool just storage rooms really so let's take a look indoors so through the double doors here Central front dining room, 28 metres. You can see arched access at the back there, which goes out to the three bedrooms. I'll do a pan round when I'm at the other end. You can see in all the rooms you've got air conditioning, fly screens are installed throughout, or all the key rooms, I should say, air conditioning, full central heating system. Lovely and shaded and cool. Corner mount 
wanted wood burner there. So in terms of spec, really, there's no further upgrades. I mean, heating, fly screens, air conditioning, wood burner, coming out into the kitchen, even got a rad out here. Good size kitchen. Water softening system, I can see there. Sorry, a drinking water system. Don't know if you can see that, but fantastic views from the main kitchen window. Four in gas hot there. Waste chest level oven, very handy. Out into, you know, not the biggest, but a, a handy utility area where you can store your noisy appliances. And then a doorway off of this leads into this fantastic conservatory that we saw when we came in. You can see you've got a fridge and everything, dining table out here. Just to surprise a little moggy at rest. Beautiful views from this. So dining area, nice comfy second living room area. And double doors there going out onto the terrace. You're literally from the town centre, I suppose Arbalea Centre, not even a 10 minute walk down through Lemon and Orange Grove, so very easy stroll over to amenities. But you've got high levels of privacy and it's you know not a too densely populated community. There's nothing else actually on sale in the community at the moment. It's very rare they come up and it's a much sought after area predominantly because it's such an easy walk to Arbalea Centre and you've got the spectacular views all around you. So into the master bedroom here, very good size room. Air conditioning, this one's got a ceiling fan as well. All the bedrooms benefit from fitted wardrobes. Floor to ceiling, so ample storage space in the bedrooms. I can see a few ladies saying, no, that's not enough, I need bigger wardrobes. Good size ensuite. Family bathroom. Used to have a bath in, but again, most of the owners have converted these into large showers now, just, to, just so much more practical and convenient, really. Guest bedroom number one. Very lovely neutral tile scheme running throughout as well. Front door over here on, on my right, rarely gets used, but it's still good to have. And the second guest bedroom. So three bedrooms, two bathrooms you've seen there. Very good size lounge diner, good size kitchen utility, and the fantastic conservatory. For any further details, do look on our website, send us an email, kalidahomes.hotmail.com and we'll be doing a 360 tour on this one shortly as well.